Turn to Luke chapter 2. I promise I won't keep you long tonight. I can't say what the Lord's going to do. Come on. Amen. I pray He just keeps us here all night and we just break out in revival. Come on. Hallelujah. Wouldn't it be nice? Uh, how, many, how many misses those days where we used to go to revivals or Rush Harbor meetings? The man with the Spirit got to moving. Amen. If you had kids, you just, amen to God, put them to sleep on the back row or in the back room. And man, you just praise God or get down on your face and just weep before God all night. Hallelujah. Get done in time to go home, get a shower, go to work. Amen to God. Go back and do it again. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I, I, I long for those days again. But but the modern day church anymore, I tell you, there's a lot of repenting that needs to go on today. Come on. Before revival's even going to start. Amen. And I know that's not popular preaching, but amen to God. It's the truth. Amen. And I, revival will not break out until sin is dealt with. Amen. And if you want a classic Ooh. example of it, look at Achan. Yeah. Look at Joshua and the Israelites. They were wondering why they were coming up short in the victory. Oh. And because there was sin in the camp. Yeah. Yes. Achan partook of the cursed thing and he, what did he do? Buried, uh, yeah. cut a place in his tent and buried it under that or something? Yeah. God said there's sin in the camp and until the sin is dealt with, you're not going to get victory Come on. until sin oh, is definitely in the body of Christ. Come on. There's not going to be no revival. Come on. And I believe there is a great former and latter rain that's coming. Come on. But I think the sin of the of the church today has stopped it. Yeah. We have put a hold on God breaking on. Let loose revival today. We wonder why we don't see people healed anymore. We don't we wonder why Amen. we don't see people saved anymore. Come on. It's because there's sin in the camp. Come on. And if you preach on sin anymore, people consider you to be the awfulest thing walking the face of the earth. Come on. You're worse than a bum on skid row, if you will. Come on. But I've made my mind up, and I know Brother Billy has, and I know Sister Joyce has, and others here. Praise God, I'm not going to compromise my faith. I'm not going to compromise what I believe for Come anybody on. just to make them feel good because I'd rather hurt your natural feelings and see you go to heaven than to comfort you and see you go to hell. Amen. 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 Yeah. And there is a hell. Come on. And yeah. most of the church may be gone. Come on. Because there's just a very few, a very select few that's going to make it who is obeying God. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I could go with that. But I got to give you this word tonight. Amen. Woo, man! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Woo, go to God. Let me add something else. Praise God. I seen a post on Facebook, actually on yours, and I made a comment today about it. There was a law passed. Was it California that boys now can go into girls' restrooms? I don't mean if, if the men's room is broken and nobody's in there, you can go in there. How many's ever had to do that? If a bathroom's been broken, you go into the women's oh. if nobody's in there. But they're making it now yeah. where men can go in there if women's in there. Come on. Don't you see what's going to start happening? Come on. I, I, I mean, this guy must not be spirit-filled. Amen? Come on. This guy needs prayer. Come on. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You you talking about a can of worms being opened up? Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. I'm Come talking on. about raping's gonna happen. Come on. I'm talking about child molestation's gonna happen. Some pervert's gonna walk in there and try to have his way with some little girl. Come on. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's it's crazy. Come on. And I tell you, if the church would stand up today and do something about it, Come if on. we would stand up and pray, Amen, to God, and not let the devil walk all over us Come like on. a door, man, we would see things take place. Come on, Amen. Amen. We would see this nation change for Jesus. Come on. Wow. Yes. But Amen to God, we just stand back because we don't want to offend nobody. Amen. Yeah. Come on. We don't want to. Hallelujah, and I don't don't get me wrong, I am an American and I thank God for our freedom in this country, but I don't worship this flag. Come on. No. I worship Jesus Christ. Come on. I thank God for the soldiers who laid their life down for us. Amen to God. Come on. But I don't worship this flag. I don't worship 
wasn't no paganistic idol oh. thing, amen, to God, that this country is trying to make us do. I oh. worship the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, amen, to God. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb of God. Come on. Amen. Praise His name, church. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Billy, I may, I may get going on something else. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter 2. Praise God. It'll go into it. Amen. Just have your way, Holy Ghost. That's all I'm going to say. Luke chapter 2, beginning in verse 22. And you say, Brother Mike, we read this at Christmas time. What are you doing reading this now? There is a powerful truth in this passage of Scripture right here. Come on. And I thank God. I thank God that I get to spend more time at home over the last few weeks with my son. I get to sit down with Him, praise God, and we get to talk about Jesus. Amen? Come on. I get to pour out of me into Him. You say He's only He's only two. Yeah, but they pick it up quick. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Amen. Luke 2.22 says, And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought Him to Jerusalem to present Him to the Lord. Talking about Jesus. Amen. The baby yeah. Jesus. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of two turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. Hallelujah for this man. Yeah. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the <clears throat> consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost needs to move upon some men and women today. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Come on. Oh, man. I'm going to go somewhere with that. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents, when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. According to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Church, glory I say we God. have a reason to rejoice tonight. Come on. Amen. We've got a reason to rejoice. Yes. And I tell you, I want to use this man Simeon. If I have to praise God, give this message a title tonight. I want to call it, God Still Keeps His Word to Us. Amen. Yeah. Amen to God. Amen. God keeps His Word to us. Yeah. Simeon was a man who was promised by the Holy Ghost Come on. that he would not see death until he laid his eyes upon the Savior. Come on. Now he didn't say how long it would be. He just said you will not see death Come on. until you see the Messiah. Yeah. See, tonight we serve a God who when He tells us something like He promised Simeon, for how many knows our God is no respecter of person? Yes. Amen. Amen to God. Some people got this, this image in their mind of God that He is a God that only speaks to people if you're a pastor or an evangelist or a prophet or a teacher or somebody big that wears a suit that drives, hallelujah, a fancy car or stands behind a big fancy pulpit. We've gotten in this mindset because the devil has entered into the body and Come told on. people that's the way you be holy. That's the way you are, quote, righteous to God. No, praise God. Our righteousness are like filthy rags unto the Lord. But Come thank on. God for the blood of Jesus, amen yes. to God, that the blood washes us and cleanses Come us, on. amen to God. Makes us white as snow. Amen. God. Hallelujah. So I'm glad tonight that God is no respecter of persons because He can speak to you as well as He does me, as well as He does to anybody else out there who's listening. Come on. God is no respecter of persons. And what He did with this man Simeon here was He gave him a promise. Come on. And he kept his promise. Amen. Oh, yeah. That ought to get you happy right there. Come that on. you know that God, amen, is still the same God. Come that on. when he gives you a word, he's going to perform amen. on it. Amen. Yes. Amen. amen. So Simeon didn't know when he would see Jesus. He just knew that the Holy Ghost said, You will not see death. Come on. And he didn't tell him. And one thing that's interesting about it, he didn't tell him what to expect. 
He no. didn't say you'd see a little brown-eyed baby with little curls in his hair wrapped up in this or that. No. He just said, Come on. I, I know that God is going to reveal it to him when he sees it. How many's ever had that, amen to God? God has given you a word, amen to God. He's given you a promise over your life. You may not know how it's going to happen. You may not know when it's going to happen. But it's going to happen, amen to yeah. God. It's going to happen, praise God. Because God keeps His word to us. Look at your neighbor and say, God will keep His word to you. God will keep His word to you. I'm telling you tonight, praise God. Hallelujah. We need to thank God. For His promise. Come on. How many knows, brother? You said, Brother Mike, the Lord didn't speak to me in an audible voice. Well, I've got something right here. I've got the Word of God. Come I've on. got promises from Genesis to Revelation, amen to God, that tells me who I am in Jesus. Yeah. That tells you who you are in Jesus, amen? Come on. I've got promises here that, Hallelujah, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord <laughs> shall be saved. Amen. Come, Come on. on, do you believe that? Do you believe God is still a saving God? Yes. i got promises here that says, praise God, if we're faithful to God, He'll be faithful to us. Come on. Come on now. How many knows God is not a man that He should lie? Come on. Hallelujah. That will get you happy right there. When God tells you something, He is not a man that He should lie. Come on. But he is going to be a God that performs it. Amen? Amen. Yeah. You say, Brother Mike, you don't understand what I'm going through. Let me tell you something. I'm going through some personal trials right now. I'm going to use me because I don't know what everybody else is going through. So what better example than to use the preacher, amen? Mm -hmm. I've been going through some things over the last couple of months. God has given me, God gave me a word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. A few months back through a preacher. Come on. And I believe he was in the Lord, amen to God. I just don't, I, you know, nowadays when people are throwing words out, you've got to be careful what you hear. Because if they don't give you a word that lines up with his word, it ain't of God. Amen. Come on, yes. There's a lot of preachers today giving you thus saith the Lord, and half of them don't make a bit of sense. Amen. Come on. God. Because if a word comes from God, it's going to be, be there to build you up, to strengthen you, to encourage amen. you, to exhort the people. Amen to God. It's going to be something that's going to bring glory back to Him. Amen. Come because on. if God gives you a word, His word's going to go back and come back and bring glory, honor, and praise unto the King of Kings. Amen. And the Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. For God's word will not return void. Amen. How many Believes that, amen. Yes. How many knows that God, when He gives you a word, when a word is spoken out, praise God, from the Lord, it's not going to return void. Come on. It's going to go to that which it needs to accomplish, amen. amen. And I don't know, praise God. I know this is for me, praise God. And it may be for y'all and for you out there watching or listening tonight. But I'll tell you right now, don't give up on the word of God. Come don't on. give up on the promises of God. I know it may look rough right now. It may look bad. I'm Whoa, just sitting there and sitting there. Said, well, I'm getting of old age, Lord, and I still haven't seen him. I'm getting up in the morning, I'm cracking worse than I did 20 years ago. Lord, hallelujah, I don't know how much longer I can keep going. Come but on. I'm sure the Lord spoke to him and said, Simeon, I gave you a promise Come that on. you would not see death. Amen to God. Whoa. Until you see the Savior, glory, God is faithful and keeps his word to Come us. On. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I've been going through some things, and I got a word from a preacher, and he told me, he said, Brother Mike, he said, I've seen where you've come from, how the enemy has attacked you in all areas of your life. He said, but God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you not only spiritually but financially to where, praise God, you will not have no need for nothing. To where you will be about 100% every day doing the work of God. And that's my heart's desire. I said, Lord, praise God, all I want to do is be 100% committed to you, Jesus. I want to go and preach your word. I want to go and tell those who don't know you that you are a saving God, that you are a healing God, that you're a mighty good God. Come on. Because we, amen to God, God has work for us to do, but He needs laborers. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, come on. I'm so tired of people today saying, well, praise God, I'd do something for Jesus if He'd let me. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you read His Word, amen, come there's on. a lot of stuff to do in this Word. Let me, let me throw one out for you. This ain't going to be popular. Brother Billy, we may get, we may get letters about this one. You want something to do for Jesus? My Bible tells me to pray without ceasing. Come on. Woo! You yeah. Got quiet? Pray. Come, Come on. on. Come on. All 
the needs we've offered up tonight. All the needs are in this prayer box. Yeah. All the needs we've got in our personal lives, in our families, in our workplaces. Tell me you ain't got nothing to do. Come on. <clears throat> Other than get on your Facebook page Come on. and gossip. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh. Or get on Twitter and put some ridiculously silly statement on there that you're going Come to on. the bathroom. I had a Twitter account for one day. And I had somebody send me a what do they call them, tweets? Yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, I deleted the thing. I don't want to hear Come that on. garbage, amen. amen. If you ain't got nothing better to do than say I'm going to the bathroom. Come on. Hallelujah. Now I'm a texter. How many likes a text message in here? Come on. Amen. Thank you, sister. Praise God. <laughs> I looked at my bill today and I and, and for last month they said I had, I had sent over 5,900 text messages in a month. Come on. Thank God for unlimited text messages. Go right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God AT&T did something right. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But I get up every morning and I text everybody in my address book. I've got 93 people in there. I text them every morning. I get up at 4.30 every morning because Hunter's up at 5. Come on. He's used to it. Yeah. I text him while I wait till about maybe 5.30 or 6 before I start texting. Because I'm already up. People's like, I don't get up that early. Well, praise Come God, on. I can't help it. I'm up. I got to spread the gospel some way. Amen? Mm -hmm. My neighbors are mad at me because I preach so much. When I preach and record radio broadcasts in the bedroom, I'm so loud. Amen to God. I had the cops calling on me one day. Praise the Lord. I just got done preaching and I heard... I thought, well, who is that? Lori's got a key to get in. I ain't expecting nobody to come see me. If it's Dad, he'll holler out the window, Hunter Helsley, you know, and that's why he lets me know he's there. I go and I peek. How many of them just peeked out that window? It's yeah. like knocking at the door. Come oh. on now. I know I ain't the only one. You just kind of... And if it's somebody oh. out there you don't answer the door to, you don't do it, do you? Come on now. I've done it before. Hallelujah. You just kind of... Well, I'm just kind of walk back here. Glory to God. I, I'm in the spirit. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, it's okay to laugh sometimes. Amen. So the cops were at the door. So I, I said, I guess I better. I told Hunter, I said, I guess I better open the door. So what have you done now? They said, we, We've got some calls saying there's some screaming going on here. Yeah. I live in an apartment, amen to God, so there's people above me and beside me and everything, so I'm, home. I'm sure there's some people upstairs, because they're kind of mad at me a lot. Well, we got a complaint that there was some screaming and hollering and ha, ha, like that. And he said, uh, is everything all right in there? I said, well, at the time, praise God, I was having myself a time in Jesus. And they asked <coughs> me if they could come in. <laughs> well... You know, come on in. Just look in the house. I ain't got nobody in the bedroom tied up, beaten up or anything. Oh, and they said, well, sir, I said, can you not just calm it down? I said, you must not be a spirit-filled person. I said, because when the spirit gets to moving in, then you can't keep quiet. Come on. I don't care where you're at. Come on. Praise God. You can't keep quiet. you got to shout a little bit. I mean, when you hear a promise of God, amen to God, when God said He'd keep His Word to you, you got to go, whoo, go right. Praise God. I don't like that, amen to God. Oh, I don't like that. you got to shout a little bit. Come on. Now, I know some sophisticated churches don't want you doing that. Come on. Because, Lord forbid, if you get there and you stop their funeral service, praise God, Come on. from going on, if they say something, I know my wife don't mind me saying, Saying this, praise God, and she's not here, so praise God. Well, not praise God for that, but praise God, she won't hurt me or anything when I say it. But the church she used to go to in Louisville when we first started <laughs> dating, it was, and I don't mean this bad, it was a Baptist church that wasn't spirit filled. And she said, Now, when you go, you've got to kind of not get excited. I said, Well, I'm not going to promise you that because if I hear something that's going to get in my spirit, I'm going to shout. <coughs> Whether it's dead or not, maybe it starts some fire in this place. Come on. How many, are, how many knows that you get an old leaf pile and you just flick a spark at it, it's going to burn up? Amen. Come on. That's why I was hoping it would break out. So praise God, the preacher said something about, I think he even said Romans 10 13, whosoever scoff on them, Lord should be saved. And that got me excited, and I said, Woo! Glory to God! And I got this. Stop. Stop. Come on. You got that? She said, Stop. Stop. 
And I'm like, don't you tell me to stop. Hallelujah. I got to praise God. What I'm getting at is, amen to God, is that praise God, you should get excited over the promises of God. You should get happy, praise God, when you hear the Word of God. Come on. I don't care if you've heard it one time or ten million times. That'll get you excited, praise God. Come because on. God's Word, praise God, you ought to know, praise God, it brings light to any dark situation you're going through. Yeah. His Word says in Psalm 119, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. Now, a, a year or two back, I think it was, I preached that message on the Word of God. And I had them cut the lights off here. And I had a flashlight representing the Word of God. And I turned it off and I told them, I said, when I'm going through something, I turn on the Word of God because it's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yeah. Amen? Come on. And that's what His Word will do today. Praise God. So, amen to God. Don't feel bad because you haven't seen Amen to God. The Word God's given you, you haven't seen it come to pass yet. It's in the works right now. Oh. I remember Daniel when he prayed a prayer. God sent the answer, but there was a battle for, what did it say, 21 days? In the heavenlies. Over the answer. See, God had heard the prayer and He had answered it, but there was spiritual warfare going on. Come on. Brother Mike, you say, you mean that, that still exists today? Yes. Yeah. The devil does not want you to get the answer. Come on. The devil does not want you to know that God will answer your prayers if you're walking in His will and doing what His Word says. Amen? Amen. Come on. Simeon was a devout, just man who believed and trusted and put his whole life in God's hands. Come on. And that's the way me and you need to be today. Amen? Amen. Amen? We need to be like Simeon. We need some more Simeons in the body today. Because Simeon, I believe this... Simeon was the kind of person that had faith that he would not be moved. Come on. How many remembers that old song, I shall not be moved? Amen. Yeah. Like a tree that's planted by the water. Amen. I shall not, not be, be moved. moved. Yeah. And that's the way we need to be grounded in Jesus today. Come on. And the way you get that way is through His Word. Amen to God. See, when God gives you a Word, He expects you to take it Come on. and apply it. How many ever cut your finger before, amen? Come on. Cut your finger real bad or had a blister or something? When you get ointment or an antibiotic or something, you'll put it on there and you'll put a band-aid over it to keep it from getting infected, to keep it from getting, you know, worse. Amen. That is the same principle with the Word of God. You take that Word, which is a bomb, yeah. and you put it on the situation. Amen to God. If you've got unsaved loved ones, try praying Joshua 24, 15. That as for me and my house, Come on. we will serve the Lord. Amen. Yes. I haven't lost you, have I? Come Praise on. God. You're not sleeping on me yet. Amen. Praise God. Don't leave me. Don't leave Come me. On. Praise God. I don't know if this is helping anybody or not. Man, it's getting me stirred up. Good. Praise God. we got to live in expectation. Did you come in here tonight expecting to receive the best from God? Come on. How many come in here tonight expecting to Come be on. blessed? Amen. That when you left tonight, when you leave, you're going to walk out different. You may have been having a bad day, but you come in and heard a song sung, a word spoken, and maybe got something, and you're going to leave out different tonight. Come on. You're going to be able to take that word tomorrow and give it to somebody else that's going to bless them. Come on. That's why I thank God for Facebook and YouTube and all the avenues we take in the word out, Brother Billy. To get the gospel out Amen. to as many as we can. Yeah. Praise God. That's what a lot that's all I use my Facebook page for anymore. It's just spreading the gospel. Come on. Every now and then I put pictures and stuff up, but ninety percent of it is just ministry. Come on. My preaching the truth page is just ministry. It's all Come it on. is. Because I've got such a desire. I want to see souls saved. Come on. I just hurt when I hear people say they're lost. When me and mom was talking back there earlier, and I don't mean to embarrass that, but that dear, that dear precious person, when, when she told me she wasn't saved. Yeah. Oh, it just hurt me. Because I'm thinking, oh my Lord, please, whatever you have to do to get her Come saved, on, whatever you have to do to yeah. get the Word to her, I'm not so much worried about the healing that I am her soul. Come I want to see her saved. Come on. Because if she's saved and she dies, she's going to go with Jesus. Come on. Amen? Yes. And that's the main thing. Go yes. with God. Amen. But we still serve a God. Praise God that can save her and heal her. Amen. Amen to God. Yes. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. 
Y'all know my testimony. That after those seven weeks in the hospital, the last day when I was checking out, my doctor was an atheist. All that time, when she heard me praying to God, I'd be crying and saying, Oh God, I just don't know if I can do it. Help me. Give me the strength I need to go on, Lord. That last day was worth every, every bit of what I went through. Because when she bowed her knee and gave her life to Jesus, she said, I want to serve the God, this God you've been talking about. I want to serve Him. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. got me excited, amen, to God. Hallelujah. They want to get you excited, praise God. Because sometimes when you go through something, God can take that situation, praise God, and He can bring a lot of folks to Jesus. Come on. Oh, how good I shout out of my God. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> God is good, amen. Come on. Amen. All the time. Oh, yes. All yeah. the time, God is, yes. good. God is good. Woo. Praise yeah. God. So when Simeon laid his eyes upon the baby Jesus, yeah. we're almost done, folks. Amen to God. <coughs> I promise. But man, I got to... Is this blessing anybody? Oh, yes. Praise good. God, I'll good. tell you. Somebody said you ain't supposed to read this, but at Christmas time, uh-uh. There's, there's truth oh, in it, praise God. Oh, there is truth in this, amen to God. Hallelujah. When he had finally laid his eyes upon Jesus, Come on. he knew in the spirit, look at Billy. Praise God. I bet when he oh, seen him walking, holding that precious baby, walking up that to the temple, Come on. and he laid his eyes on him, and the Holy Ghost said, He's there. Oh. He's there. I told you, I performed my word. You would not see that because there's a promise coming down oh. that left your heart. baby. Come on. And they gave him the baby. <laughs> oh, glory. I bet, I bet Simeon had him a little dancing spell. I bet he had a little David. Amen to God. I like the said. He had a little David fit. Amen to God. I bet Simeon, he may have been old up in age, but he probably said, <coughs> Come on. Yeah. God is good. Come on. Oh, help me somehow. I bet those temple leaders were sitting there like, you ain't supposed to do that, but see, he's like, you don't understand. Come on. He gave me a promise. Oh, yes. He gave me a promise years yes. ago. Amen. Yes. And it's now. Because I've laid my eyes upon the Messiah. I've laid my Whoa. eyes upon the Savior of the world. Amen to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, Somebody shout glory. glory. That gets me excited. Amen. Come on. Because that tells me that if God can perform for Simeon who waited so patiently and for so long, God can still perform for me oh, and He yeah. still can perform for you. Oh, yeah. Amen to God. Because God is faithful oh. and God keeps His promises to us. Oh, oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, oh i got to give you a couple more and then we're done. Oh. Then we're done. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord, let, it, let us have unwavering faith like Simeon did to where he claimed your word. Amen to God. How many just, how many's got a word that has not come to pass yet? Come on. <clears throat> well, let me tell you. What God did for Simeon, come on. He's going to do for you. Yes. And you. Come on. And me. Praise on. God. Because God loves each and every one of us. On. Amen to God. He loves us all so much. He ain't no, well, I love you more than I do them down there. I love them, praise God, at the big church in Hopkinsville and to do it, voice of the Lord. Come on. No, He says, I love you, my children. Praise God. Let me give you some good news. He's singing over you tonight a song. Praise God. A song of restoration. A song of victory. A song of Peace tonight. We're singing over you because he loves you. He says he's rejoicing over you. Praise God. That's the kind of God we serve. Come on. Praise God. Can you imagine? Lord, I've asked him, I said, Lord, let me hear the song you're singing over me. I just want to hear it. I just want to hear it. But praise God, I don't need to hear it because I know Come it's on. a song that God is singing. Yes. Hey, I'm so proud of my Come son. On. I'm Come so on. proud of my daughter because they're amen to God doing what I told them. They believe my word. Amen Come to on. God. Hallelujah. Faith is all oh, glory. Hallelujah. How oh, I many knows without faith it's impossible to Come please on. God? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
without faith, amen, to God. Yes. And that's what Simeon had, and that's what we need to get, amen. Come on. Oh, let me give you some verses, amen, to God, to show you that God is faithful. Come on. Amen to God. He is good. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. If you ain't got time to write them down tonight, get the CD. Praise God. It's free. Amen to God. Hallelujah. You ain't got no Amen. You ain't got no excuse to say, well, praise God, I can't get it. I can't afford it. Well, it's free. Free Come on. means it's free. Go where it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Numbers 23, 19. I said it earlier. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Hath he said and hath he uh, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and he shall not make it good? Come on. Oh man, that'll get you excited oh, right there. Yeah. Amen to God. Grandmothers, you've been praying over those grandchildren. Come on. They're lost going out there. But praise God, I stand upon the word of God. Come on. Where it says, As for me and my house. Oh, we're going to serve the yeah. Lord. See, I believe that, praise God. See, I prayed over all my family because I know I'm saved. I'm blood bought. Come Amen on. to God. Hallelujah. They can't say they've never heard the word because my big mouth has spoken it to Come them on. all. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! I'm going to get some water. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm glad for natural water and I'm glad for living water. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know what? That's another promise He said. He said, if you drink of this water, glory to God, you'll never thirst yeah. again. Glory to yeah. God. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do you get so excited, Brother Mike? Because God is good. Come on, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going through hell and high water, but God is good. Come on. God is good. Yeah. I believe it with every fiber of my being tonight, Come on. church. Yeah. Do you? Come on, yeah. Shout if you do. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you look at me like I'm half crazy. Come right? on. I've lost my mind to Jesus years ago. Come on. Praise God. I tell you, I, you got to lose your mind in the Lord. Amen. Come on. Because if you keep the worldly mind, you won't get what the Word says. Come on. You won't be like Simeon and say, Praise God, He gave me a promise and He's going to perform it. Oh, Lord, I wish I could have been oh. there and just seen that. Lord, I wish I could have been there and seen that. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Uh, Woo! Glory to God. I want to ask Simeon, Brother Billy, when we see him one day, Simeon, did you dance? Come on, yeah. Did you shout? Yeah. I mean, did you just scream real loud and it made all them religious folk mad? Come I on. mean, did you? What did you do? Amen to God. I can't wait to hear what he said. Amen Come to on. God. Mm, glory, hallelujah. Y'all don't have to sit there. You can shout if you want Come to. On. Amen. Because God is good. Yeah. First Kings eight fifty six says, "Blessed be the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel, according to all that he has promised." Did you hear that? There hath not failed one word of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses his servant. Come on. Did you hear that? Yeah. Anything he promised us, he's going to do it if we're faithful. Now let me yeah. throw this in. Just because he gave you a promise, if you go out here and live like a devil, come you're on. going to be the reason that promise don't come to pass. Yeah. Come on. Let me throw that in because, hallelujah, this is not giving you a free ticket to live like a devil and to just go wild and sin. Amen to God. you got to be faithful to God and be obedient. You come can't on. come here, praise God, one day, oh, Shondai, Ronda, time a bow tie, and the other six days live like a devil from hell. Come on. You cannot do that. You will not be blessed. You will not be prosperous. And you won't get to see your promise. Come on. Until you repent. Come on. Is that all right? Can I preach that, brother? Yeah, that's like good. that. That'll preach. Amen. Joshua twenty one forty five. There failed not any of, uh, not all of any good thing which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Yeah. I'm giving you three. I've got a couple more. Hallelujah. Joshua twenty three fourteen. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye shall know in your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing hath failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spake yeah. concerning you. Come on now. That's good. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Oh my, oh, my goodness. you got Lord a word from God. God. Lord Brother Billy, God. I know you've got a word about yeah. this ministry. I know you've got a word that it's going to expand. I've done confirmed it with you, brother. It's going over there, and it's going Come over on. here. BOTO is going to expand Come very soon. On. Amen to God. And I know y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but I've seen in the Spirit, praise God, that VOTL, the services here, are going to be aired live, praise Come God, on. every time we have service here, praise God. Come I've on. seen it. I believe it. It will come to pass. Amen to God. Because God's word will not return void. That's right. Amen. 
Woo, amen. 2 Peter 3, 9, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah. Amen. Is that good? That's good. I'll give you one more and then we're going to go home. To our houses. I sit there saying we're going to go home. I'm ready to go see Jesus. Amen to God. Come on. If the trumpet sounds right now, woo, I'm going to go. Oh, go where I'm going through. Amen to God. Come on. So, there's some groups out there saying that Jesus ain't coming back. He's already here. Boy, they got, I can tell you, when that trumpet sounds, I'm telling you, there's going to be some, some sad folk, Brother Billy. Come on. You know what I'm talking about, amen? Come on. Hebrews 10 23. I love this. One of my favorites. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promised it. Promised. Oh, glory to God. Ain't, ain't he good? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at your neighbor and say, Ain't God good? Ain't God, ain't God good? good? All the time. All the time. Even when they're going to cut the lights off, he's still good. Amen. Even when I don't have food in the refrigerator, he's still good. <laughs> Even when my check didn't come in the mail, he's still good. Amen. Come on now. Well, my direct deposit didn't hit. He's still good. Amen. Because we're at the bank fixing to bust the teller in the head. Amen to God. Come on. But you don't remember God is still good. Amen. Come on. Let me give you this testimony, and then we're going to finish. A couple years back, I worked for a construction company. And I was going, I'd go every day. I worked in the office there, and I'd go every day to get the mail. And I was broke. Didn't have nothing in my wallet but lint. And even that lint was broke too. Amen. How many ever been there, praise God, Amen. to where your lint's broke? I said, Lord, I ain't got it. I didn't have much gas in the tank either. And they weren't going to give me money for gas for reimbursement. And I thought, well. So I went up to the post office and I got the mail. I thought, Lord, I said, I need some gas money. I need some money to make it to Friday. And I had, and, and, and something got in my eye and I looked down on the ground and from the step off, you know how there's a crack there? <laughs> there was a $50 bill right there in that crack. Hallelujah. Come on now. Yeah. And my eyes happened to look down and I said, what is that? And there was people coming in and out. And I thought, it's mine. Come on. I'm going to show you unwavering faith, amen to God, in the name of Jesus. I'm claiming that thing now. I yeah. picked that up and the Lord spoke to me. He said, I'll take care of you if yeah. you trust me. Amen. If you believe me. He didn't rebuke me. He wasn't mad at me. He just spoke to me with a gentle, loving voice in my Amen. spirit. I'll take care of you if you trust me. Yeah. And He'll take care of you. And you out there, praise God, no matter what you're going through. Come on. Some of you tonight are going through some of the toughest battles you've ever been through in your life. Yeah. Amen. But let me give you news. And me, and me and the brother was talking earlier. Sometimes it's easier for us to say God is going to work it out. Yeah. When you're not going through it. Yeah. But when you've been through it and you know God can, come on. Then you can speak it. Yeah. Because I tell you, I've been through some things just like I'm sure every one of you have in this place. Yes. We've all been through different things. But one thing we can all agree upon tonight is that God will keep His Word to you. Yes, he when will. He tells you something, He'll yes, he keep will. His Word to you. Every oh, promise He's made you, Hallelujah. He will keep it. Don't give up on God because you haven't seen that thing come to pass. Don't quit. Amen to God. Don't give up praying. Don't give up reading your Bible because you haven't seen it happen when you think you should happen. Come when on. it should happen. Because sometimes God allows things to happen to build us up. Come on. To break off. He puts us on that potter's wheel. To, run, to get all the cracks off, to get all the rough edges, so He can make a vessel of honor for His glory that He can pour Himself into that we can pour out. Yeah. He wants to pour, He wants us to be vessels that doesn't leak. Come on. But that we can pour out. Like we just take this and pour it upside down. Yeah. Stand to your feet with me if you don't mind. I hope something said tonight was a blessing to you. Amen. I tell you tonight, more than now, more than ever, this is a time that all we've got is the Word of God. Because the stuff going on in Washington, people today that that are my age that will work until they're in their 60s for Social Security, it won't be there. Amen. And all we've got to rely upon is Jesus. Come on. People today getting unemployment, it's being cut out. 
And all they've got to rely upon is the promise that God said He will take care of you. Amen. Amen to God. God will take care of each and every one of us. You can't give up. You can't quit. And the devil is going to come at you harder than ever because he knows that the end is coming near. He knows his time is drawn near to where he's going to be done with for good. So Satan is on a mission to get out. And I, I like what I heard this old boy say the other day. Satan has been anointed to do his work to tear us down, but we've got the anointed one who will give us an anointing that will break that yoke that he tries to put upon us that we can go through in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. So I'm telling you tonight, if you don't hear anything else I've said, listen to what my two-year-old baby boy Hunter said. God is good. Amen. Amen. We read this story about Simeon in his little Bible study book. When I got done, I said, what do you think about that, Hunter? I said, is God good? And he grabbed me with my face like fish. He said, Daddy, God is good. Amen. And I tell you, I tell you, it hit my spirit like somebody's pierced me with an arrow because I know he spoke what he believed. Amen. He spoke what he's heard Daddy and Mama say. Come on. God is good and he's faithful. Yes. And don't give up. And so if I had to hear from a two-year-old, praise the Lamb of God. Amen? Because I believe God will use any avenue to speak to you. He used a donkey. Was it to speak to, was it Balaam? A donkey to speak to Balaam. Yeah. And you know donkeys go, yee-haw, yee-haw, like that. I'm sure that donkey was talking, you need to listen to the Lord. Amen? Amen. God, God will use anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sorry. But it's the truth. Yeah. Don't give up on His Word. Because His Word will stand the test of time. Father, in Jesus' name, thank You tonight for Your Word. Thank You for Your love, Your mercy, Your grace. Thank You, Lord God, that You are an on-time God and You're faithful. Father, forgive us, Lord, where we doubted You. Lord, we've done that. Lord, we've not done it deliberately, but Lord, we've just we've been through stuff and we've just taken our eyes off you like Peter did when the storm was there. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you wholeheartedly, Lord, and not letting anything take us off. Lord God, help us, Lord, to stand, stand firm upon your word and not let our faith be shaken or moved, dear God, by the storms that are going on around us. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight. Get us to our homes safely. Help us to lay down tonight and have the best night's rest we've ever had in Jesus' precious name. Let us awake tomorrow, Lord, by Your grace, if You so see fit to, to go and just spread Your Word to those that are lost around us, to be a light in a world of darkness. For we ask it in Jesus' name. And everybody said? Amen. amen and amen. I want you to do one thing for me before we have little eyes that come and read the Word. I want you to go somebody... Go to somebody, praise God, not the same person you go to. Go to them and just hug them. And just tell them you love them. Amen. And tell them it's going to be alright because God is still God. Amen. Let's do that.